Hello guys, welcome back to Beyond the Realms, and today I'm going to be reviewing a film off of Netflix entitled Doc of the Dead. Uh, I was just searching around on there one day and came across this, and, <clears throat> you know, at first I, I, you know, I love zombies, let me say that first of all, you know, I've always loved zombies way before, you know, it became this huge craze that it is now too, you know, I've been a, that's always been like one of my favorite, if not my favorite subgenre of horror. Uh, but when I saw this, I thought, eh, you know, I don't know. I'll probably pass on it. Because I, I just figured, you know, it'd be the same old, same old, everything you've always heard and seen. But one night, you know, I was bored and looking for something to watch to fall asleep to. And I put this on. And I didn't expect to watch the whole thing, but I ended up watching all of it. I mean, it's not long. It's like only an hour and 20-some minutes long. It's relatively short. Um, and, yeah, this, this didn't have really anything new uh, in it. That if you know if you're a hardcore zombie fan, um, you've probably seen most of this stuff. But you know, I I thought it was mainly going to just focus on zombie films, which <clears throat> would have been fine too. But really, it goes over the entire culture of zombies, like everything. It starts off, you know, talking about uh, uh, early early twentieth century zombie literature. Um, you know, then it goes into White Zombie and, and, and uh, all those films, you know, pre-Night of the Living Dead. And then, of course, it goes up to Night of the Living Dead where George Romero, of course, reinvented zombies into the what is like the modern era of zombies, flesh-eating zombies, people to return from the dead instead of, you know, uh, voodoo zombies or possessed people. Um, it goes through that and it, it goes through all the films, of course, but... What I liked about this is it just covers everything with zombies. I mean, it's just really, um, really well put together. Much better put together than I expected. And it covers a lot in a short amount of time without uh, coming across as just, you know, stuff being too quick. You know, I mean, I, I, uh, you know, of course it goes into, you know, all, all the way up into the modern craze of The Walking Dead and, um, you know, Shaun of the Dead, Zombieland, I mean, just everything. I mean, they really cover the gambit of zombie films and zombie, just zombie culture, you know, and uh, <clears throat> I thought it was neat, you know, they even included people like Max Brooks that wrote uh, The Zombie Survival Guide in World War Z and uh, his explanation, um in there that he talks about for, for writing the zombie survival guide, which was pretty interesting. I'd, I'd never heard it before, you know, cause I've read this book a long time ago, but I'd never heard his explanation for writing. It. And he explains it as, you know, when why, uh, Y2K was getting ready to hit, there was all these books out about how to survive, you know, Y2K disaster of the financial system collapses. If all this stuff goes wrong, and he thought, you know, my big fear is if a zombie apocalypse happens. So he wrote this as, you know, if it really happened, this is how you would survive. Uh, I thought that that was really cool. Um, but, I mean, it has everybody involved, too. You know, of course, it's got G George Romero, Greg Nicotero, um, Bruce Campbell's on here. It's got uh, uh, Simon Pegg. Um, who else is on here? I mean, it's just a ton of people. Like, basically anything they talk about, they they got either that actor, that author, or whoever, the writer, um, to be involved with it. And um, uh, it has, uh, oh, damn, his name escaped me, the guy that wrote The Walking Dead, damn it, the comic book. I can't believe I can't think of his name right now. Uh, I'll think of it as soon as I turn the video off. But um, Robert Kirkman, yeah, um, ha has him on here, and he's... Uh, you know, talking about how he never expected The Walking Dead to do good as a show. He expected it to be a mild hit and it turned into this big thing. But I've always liked his explanation for doing The Walking Dead, which he talks about on here, too, about how, you know, when, you know, he always loves film, love films like Dawn of the Dead. You know, it's like these people survive. And what happens after the movie ends? And The Walking Dead comic book is supposed to be that never-ending zombie story, you know, where they continuously go through stuff, and this shows it. Um... But, the, guys, this is a very good documentary. I highly recommend it. I mean, it, it's very, very well made, um, well put together. And another aspect of it, you know, is it goes clear into fandom, you know, with zombie films and zombie culture. You know, and they show these haunted houses where you can pay and you're basically, uh, you know, you're, you're given weapons, you know, fake weapons, of course. 
and uh, they have all these actors set up as zombies, and you you have to survive a zombie apocalypse, and you're put in there um, with these actors, and basically every adventure that happens is unique to the situations that the people that are paying, you know, the the, the decisions that they make. So I thought that that was really cool, and uh, then it goes clear into these people who like. They, they totally believe that a real zombie apocalypse is going to happen. Like, kind of reminded me of, like, the doomsday preppers type thing. You know, where these people are building underground shelters and all this stuff, preparing for, you know, a collapse of society. Well, these people are doing basically that same thing, but they're preparing for when a zombie apocalypse really breaks out. And they give all these facts about how these... You know, like the bath salt thing and all these other things that's happened where, you know, zombie a zombie apocalypse is going to happen, apparently, they say. Um, but it's, it's very good, guys. Like I said, it, it's, it covers a wide range. Um, basically, anything in, in the culture has to do with zombies. And um, it's fast-paced. It's to the point. And they really don't leave too much out, you know, which was really awesome. It's well worth checking out, guys. Uh, like I said, this is on Netflix. Uh, I'm sure it's on DVD, Blu-ray. I don't know. I'm sure it is, though. Uh, it just premiered earlier this year. I know that. And it's cool. It's already on Netflix. Um, but, guys, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. I recommend it. And uh, if you have Netflix streaming, I say check it out for sure. So, yeah, guys, that is Doc of the Dead. I am Jason. You've been watching Beyond the Realms. Have a good one, guys. Later.